Hey there everybody, my name is Kadimor. Welcome back for another video of NHL 19 franchise. Well, we're going to continue this series, boys. Um, last time we left us off, I guess, it's been a while since I did a video about this, but I think last time uh, we just ended up doing the free, uh, free agents and draft for the uh, first year. After the first year, we got Henry Ecker, which you see right here, is on the top of our list. I'm going to show you the edit lines right now, boys. I don't know if they're done properly. Uh, from the looks of it, uh, Franz Nilsson, he's going to be playing on the fourth line for sure, boys. But I don't want to... I want to make sure that everybody's, de everybody's there. So, left wing, do I have... Okay, yeah, I've only got three left wingers. Which means there's one of my centers, either Rasmussen or Nilsson, who's going to play, like, in the fourth line. Now, Nilsson, yes, he's a third scored liner. Um, but I want to be, I want to put him in fourth line because I, I either I put him in fourth line where I play uh, Svechnikov, which is not ready just yet for the NHL. He's going to be ready within the year though. He's going to be in the third, uh, third line for sure. But for now he's not, he's still a deaf forward. Rasmussen is a fourth liner, a centerman. Now I, w I just want to look at the, uh, face -off. So 73... And he's got 80, yeah. So I already did the lineups, it looks like. So for Tuzi, everything seems good. Yeah, everything seems fine. Everybody's in their position. Everybody's playing where they're supposed to be playing, boys. So that's good. We've got Panarin with Henry Hicker, 99, for first liner, potential medium elite. He's going to be the future of our franchise basically boys he's gonna be there the entire time uh, hopefully we can get him to do 100 points every year i'm not sure how it's gonna go eberly uh he's playing right now he's gotta play on the first line because menta needs to be play in the in, a, in order to grow he needs to play in the second line so i'm just hoping that ecker is gonna elevate elevate this year elevate uh, Panarin and Eberle make them better. Uh, we've got Shara, of course, is a new acquisition for our team as well. So Shara playing uh, on the first line, I guess, with the Kaiser, which really were lacking big time on defense. Uh, the only good defense we, the defenseman we got is Shara. So we're really lacking on that. We've got Daly. Uh, Mike Green, we got Erickson and Erickson and basically L Sulak. And on the goalie's side, we got Brobowski, which we just got from uh, last year, boys. So we got Brobowski, which is really good. And we've got uh, Jonathan Bernier, boys. So on backup, which should be good enough. We got rid of Jimmy Howard. We, got, we had to get rid of one of our goaltenders. So... I guess this is pretty much it, boys. And in the AHL, I already did the things, I, f I guess. I'm pretty sure I already did that. Oh, yeah. So I've got... Here's the situation. I've got three players uh, in uh, Svechnikov, Blendizi, and Pumpol, which are all three of them are deaf, which within the year, they might be all ready to play in the NHL. So we got to keep an eye on them. I know for sure Svechnikov is going to be ready within the year. Uh, so we're going to have to move him up. And blend easy and Pumple, I'm not entirely sure just yet. But we need to keep an eye for all these young players, boys, that uh, we drafted. Is there an elite somewhere that we uh, missed or something? I don't think so. We got Chol Whiskey in here. Uh, Chol Whiskey is another one that might be able to be top six within the year. Same thing for Ronex. So we got to really keep our mind, keep, uh, keep an eye for our... Uh, our prospect we do have Lampman right here who is on a, a low elite so he's playing there down there and goaltenders wise we got these two goaltenders now we do have a little bit of a prospect in here in uh, Kate Pitt but he's only 48 overall I don't know if he's gonna grow enough if he's ever gonna become anything if he's not he's gonna eventually have like the potential the trade value for me so that's another thing. So I'm ready to start this year up, boys. See how the preseason goes. It's going to tell us whether it's going to be a good year or not. Uh, usually preseason, you don't want to get your hives up too much about that. 
but it's always good to know what your team looks like it's it's a way of making your team uh better like putting your team in, uh, in a solution where they're, they're going to be ready for the uh, actual season so it's a practice mode basically now right now they are struggling looks like hopefully we're going to be all right i hope that we're going to be able to uh, play good now we've got some we've got some good offense for our team but it looks like preseason was not that good for us at all looks like preseason was pretty rough for us boys Hopefully a season, uh, this season in itself is going to be better. Assign scout, it's already done. I am going to go ahead and look at the scouts though. Let's just go the first two weeks. Uh, okay, so every 10 games basically. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. There we go. Every 10 games, boys, now I'm going to do that because it's important for the scouts that I do this every 10 games. So... Let's see where we are, basically. We, we win the first game 4-1, to so that's really good. We end up losing a regulation, though, to the Flyers. Now, remember, I start, I changed the strategies. We played in weak side lock the entire year last year. Now, I just changed it to 1-2-2 uh, to aggressive instead, which makes our player way, players way more aggressive on the offense. Defense, they're kind of the same, so we'll see how it goes. So right now we're two and three. So three losses in regulation. We did get a third win right there though. So I'm looking to have a good, a good decent year. Uh, I'm not, just because we got Henry Ecker in our team and we've got Shara, we upgraded our team just a little bit. But just because of that doesn't mean that I think we're gonna make the playoffs, boys. But I, I am looking to have a better year at least. Like, try to get to the playoffs. If we can't, that's okay. We are on a rebuild right now, so we can't do anything. I'm never going to trade Rolnick, and I'm not going to trade a first liner. You can forget about that, buddy. All right, so after 10 games, we're 4-3-2. and two. Not horrible, but uh, room for improvement, boys. We've got Henry Aker right now, who should be playing better for 99 overall. I got to be honest with you. Eight points in eight and nine games is okay, but he's not playing like uh, an elite prospect right now, like the like the franchise player right now. He's not playing like that. So we still in like we're in there when the race, but it's only ten games. Oh, actually, it's not the ten games. We gotta simulate another game. I forgot. There we go. Let's go to the New Jersey Devils games right here. Uh, are we gonna win this after 10 games? How is it gonna go? Oh boy Yeah, all right, so 4-4-2 four, four, and two, it's it's not good at all boys. I think our team is not Was not made for that type of strategy. I don't think it was um, Let's just go to the scouts see if we're good enough If we need to change anything I think we, we do there is some uh, places where we need to change stuff So every time it's fully scouted like that I still gonna scale it if the potential is not scaled properly, boys. I'm gonna make sure that the uh, the first players are scaled properly. I'm gonna go all the way to 20 as well if I can, just to scout really, really scale them up pretty good. So I'll see you in a second, boys. All right. So the scouts are done. Uh, we're gonna go for another 10 games, boys. See how it goes. So two, four, six. Uh, 8 right here and 10 so up to the Nashville Predators game I guess we're gonna simulate uh, simulate it too so go all the way to the Blackhawks game now October wasn't uh, looking it's not looking that good boys we gotta replace the Kaiser he just injured himself I forgot who was the replacement but uh, I know it's he's fine he's good he's gonna be good enough he's, a, he's gonna be a deaf uh, defenseman anyways so we end up winning uh, the game against uh, New Jersey Devils, but we lose again against the Oilers, and we lose all as well against Tampa Bay. So that problem right now looks like we're losing a lot, way too many games. Uh, we're, we lost like nine games already, and only three of those were in, rig in uh, overtime and stuff. So we uh, control... 
It's basically the same year as last year, except this time around we're losing in regulation instead, and that is not good for us, boys. Uh, let's get Jensen out of here and get the Kaiser back in there. There we go. So it seems like really the, the team's not playing good at all. Not playing like I wanted them to play. I might put them back into weak side lock maybe. Because it doesn't look like it's working out for them at all. Uh, really not. After 20 games it's probably going to be horrible for them. Yeah, probably going to be horrible. 7-7-3, seven, seven it's fine. We're at 50 right now, but I don't like it. But we need to be more than that. Uh, Detroit, okay, so Glendening is injured now. God damn, we're going to have a lot of injuries already. Already two injuries in this year, boys, in November. That's not good at all. The injury bug is coming in for us. Hopefully no more injuries for now. I want to focus on other stuff than injuries, so... We did get a, a, a couple of wins back. We got a three winning streak, a three like win streak right here. So that helped us a lot. Uh, Terry, you got to get out of here. He was a replacement. Glendening, you're back. Back in the team. And just in time for the uh, 21 game now. 21st game. So we just played 20 games so far. Only 12 points for Henry Ecker. It's not going well at all for him. His first rookie year, boys, 99 overall. He's only doing 12 points. Oh, my God. I don't like this, boys. I really don't like it. We're going to have to work a little bit more than that. Come on, Henry. Henry Ecker, boys, I thought would be better than this. Let's go back and do side, weak side lock, I guess. Forwards with pressure to play along the boards. Where the strong side defenseman will pinch along the boards. While the weak side defense will drop and cover the point. I guess we could probably try to go... What about 1-2-2 two, two passive? Passive forecheck with all skaters looking to prevent breakout passes. Uh, maybe 2-3. Two, two nearest forwards pressure the puck while the third forward drops back. We might do that. We'll try 2-3. Two, 1-2-2 two, two, two red will keep it uh, as the way it is. We're going to stay aggressive. Uh, or maybe we'll stay standard instead. Maybe standard would be better for us. Tight point L. I'll, I'll keep it as, a, as aggressive, boys. Just make it standard for our team. So we're still overload. Yeah, we're still overload right here for everyone. I don't know, boys. Looks like uh, it's, not, it's not good at all. I do want my team to shoot a little bit more. But I'm going to just tell them to shoot right now. Let me look at the scouts really quick. I'll see you in a second. All right, so I just did the scouts. Let's look at the, the lineups really quick, boys, how they look. And why is nobody like, why is everybody struggling, basically? I just want to look at the AHL, though, first. Just to make sure everybody's doing good enough. Doesn't look like it, actually. They're not doing that good. God damn. All right, a lot of people are struggling right now on the... AHL as well. Brian Flynn, Molson. How is Molson doing? All right, he's fine. All right, so let's just see. Panarin. Yeah, they're playing good. Together, they're playing good. Eberle, Henry Ecker, and Panarin are doing good. They're just not putting points in, boys, on the boards. Only nine points for Panarin. Uh, Henry Ecker seems like he's the scorer right here. So six points. Actually, he's kind of a two way forward. He's a two way forward, boys. So he, do, he does both. We've got two. Okay, so two guys who passes the puck. We don't have a score in itself. We've got two. One who does both. So kind of an equal guy. We've got one who's... Uh, and two guys who passes the puck. We kind of need a shooter. So we got to keep Panarin in the first place. We can tr switch between Menta and Eberle. But I want Menta to move uh, like... He's not doing good at all with this lineup as well. This lineup's not doing that good, boys. All right, then. Here's what I might do, then. Uh, here's... They've got two... He's got two points, so he's kind of even player so far. This guy is a passer. Larkin's a passer. He's an assist man. Meta's an assist man as well, though. I can't change... It wouldn't do anything if I changed them up. Yeah, it wouldn't change anything. I can't change anything, boys. There's 
like they're playing as as it is they, they I can't really change the way they're playing yeah that's not good at all boys maybe I can switch that up um, I guess like it's not that bad like minus six though is really bad yeah minus six is really bad so my green he's not having a good time with a daily even though he's producing he's not having a good time top four they're both top fours you know what let's put my green in the in there with shara instead and get the kaiser with daily maybe that's gonna help out i'm not i'm not sure boys i want to see how my lineup's doing for the defense runek everybody see if they're in the minuses that means they're not going doing well I don't like this I don't, I don't want them to be in the minus oh well boys let me just say change the strategy so that they maybe shoot more maybe if I tell them to shoot more they'll actually start producing a little bit more boys I'll just do weed side lock maybe it's gonna help them out a little bit let's try to look at the uh, the team stats maybe it's gonna tell us if we're doing bad or good Maybe I gotta switch the uh, power play. Maybe that's just it. The power play and the penalty kill. So goals per game. Um, goals per game. We're doing bad. We're actually doing bad. We're not scoring a lot. So we need to find a way to produce. Yeah, I figured that. Since Henry Ecker, our 99 overall is only at like 12, 12 points in 20 games. Uh, for goals against... We're actually uh, quite good. We're quite good again. We're not giving too many goals, so that's good. Power play wise, now power play wise needs to be improved. So power play needs to be improved, and penalty kill is the worst in the team. So we got the worst penalty kill. That's the biggest problem. We cannot play in uh, in penalty kill. So let me just. Modify the lineups as best as I can boys. All right boys. So I just switched the lineups modified the lineups for the penalty in penalty kill and the power play so If let's see if it's gonna work two four six Eight and ten so after the Pittsburgh Penguins game, which is the seventh So we're going all the way to the St. Jose Sharks games in December boys, so Let's see if it's gonna work. It's so far not that uh, not really. We went into overtime. We lost, and we lost against Pittsburgh as well, as well. So not doing good at all. We got three losses in a row after a three winning streak, which was really good for us. But all right, there we go. We wanna we wanna see some wins, boys, or at least overtime uh, losses or something like that. All right, we want points right now, not regulation losses. I don't wanna see any of that. We've got Brabowski on the net, which hasn't seemed to done anything to us. I might have to look at his stats as well, because Brabowski, he should be helping us right now. He should be the type of player that really is there to help us a lot. Oh, God damn. I don't know why we're struggling so much. We have a deep team and the offense. Yes, we're struggling in defense. We're not that bad. It's not horrible. It should be like that. Like, we shouldn't be... Having a, t a tough time like that. That's ridiculous. Look at this. How are we struggling so, uh, so far? Cholo Whiskey is injured. That's not good at all. We lost like all of our game right now. All of our games. We're 11 and tw 13. We're going to have another year. Another bad year, boys. I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. I'm not a good GM, boys. When it comes time to scaling, I'm really good to, put, uh, to get uh, prospects for the team. I don't know. I, I'm good to develop them. But once it comes time to for the NHL team to produce, I don't know what to do, boys. Look at this. We've got one, two, three games. We won three games. We lost seven of them. God damn. And uh, two of them. We got two. Yes. Yeah, so it's basically three. Um, Three, five, and two. Yeah, three, five, and two. After ten games, which is horrible, boys. 
I don't know even I don't know why I, I calculated that I could have just checked that right there there we go three five and two that's horrible now the San Jose Sharks are three and seven which is even better even worse than us right now but yeah we're not gonna make the playoffs if we keep doing like this if we keep playing like this we gotta produce boys we gotta do better than this we got 30 games played right now let me check at any sort of player that we need to be playing better i guess god damn i really don't know what to do right now okay so bertuzzi is not doing well he's not doing well at all uh, s minus six. Yeah, he's not doing well. God damn. Uh, this team is actually doing pretty well. Well, this lineup is doing well now. So let's see. We still have two passers. Actually, Panarin's. Uh, yeah, I don't know, boys. I don't know. I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> I just don't know. Like uh, my green did they de 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 develop? It helped out Shara a little bit. My green still doing bad, and Traver Daily now is doing bad. I don't know what to do, boys. What about Brabovsky? What what is he doing? He's got a saving percentage of nine, uh, nine seventeen. I guess it's good enough. No, it's not even good enough because he's an elite. He should be playing way better. He should be doing um, ninety two is like this. So he's not uh, he's not playing well. Uh, average shoot shooting is fine. But he's doing a little. He's giving a little bit too many goals, boys. It's not his fault entirely, though. Uh, I do want to. Oh my god. I don't want to do view lines. Come on now, game. And the game start is so slow to, sl to load out sometimes, boys. You see, I'm pressing, and two hours later it comes up. So, AHL. Third forward line. All right, Smetchikov is officially ready to play in the NHL. We're, there, we're gonna move him up. We need him big time. He's actually pre uh, playing pretty well in the AHL, having a, a good time. Uh, mostly, he's he is at uh, zero minus uh, zero plus minus though. So uh, he is a he is a shooter, boys. You can see fifteen percent. He's a shooter. We he's the type of left winger we need right now. We really desperately need him. Uh, death board so we're gonna move him up right now boys we're absolutely gonna move him up and uh i guess we need to trade someone now because of that so are we gonna miss somebody or no we're gonna be good so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna have to trade one of our left wingers oh actually we don't have to do that we just need to trade uh, Nielsen, basically. Yeah, we need to trade Wilson, uh, uh, Nielsen, and we should be good. Atanasiu, who's the best player? Feels like, uh, yeah, Nielsen needs to get out of here. So we're gonna trade Nielsen really quick, boys. Get Svetnikov in here. There you go. Let's get an NHL. Get to pro propose trade. Let's see. What kind of trade we can get for Nielsen? You know, for Tanasu, which I didn't, I did not want to trade, but I didn't have a choice. I needed to get rid of a player, so we're gonna get rid of Tanasu, boys. We get in exchange a first line, uh, first round pick for next year, for the other year of the Saint Jose Sharks, and we get Martinuk for the left wing. All right, so that's really good for us because now all of our lineups look good on their own. All right, that's good. That's good, boys. That's what I wanted. And uh, oh, I did just did a mistake there. Yeah, I just did a mistake. I don't know why I got Mar Martinuk, boys. Oh yeah, I don't know why I got him. Oh, he can play as a deaf forward, actually. Yeah, actually, he could play as a deaf forward. You know why? Uh, better deaf forward than Thierry. We're gonna play him as a deaf forward, boys. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start this up, boys. Start the other simulation, another 10 games. So 2, 4, five, uh, uh, 6, 8, and 10. So at the Montreal Canadiens, we're going to stop there. Let's see how we, uh, we do uh, after 10 games. Now we got Svechnikov, who is new on the team. A rookie year now. 
He's playing on the second line. Let's see how it's gonna go. We paste uh, a scorer in there. So let's see how it's gonna go. We just got three losses in a row. That is not good at all. That is not what I wanna see at all. Come on, boys. Four l losses in a row. There's a goddamn win already. We're supposed to be a good team. That's what I don't get, boys. We're supposed to be a good team, a champion team. And we're 13, 17, and 2, which it's it's unbelievable. I don't even know what to say at this point, boys. Uh, no, it's, uh, five well, five losses. My bad. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say at this point. There we go. We got another loss, but a, a win at least. That's only two wins now, by the way. That's only two wins in all of these games played. That is horrible. How are we playing so bad? We should be making the playoffs, boys, absolutely. As a champions team, this is unacceptable. I don't even know why I'm playing this game. If I'm a champion team and I'm going to be missing the playoffs big time and doing bad like this with a 99 overall player on the first line. This is horrible. It should not happen. We only got three wins in the last 10 games, I think. No, five, uh, yeah, three wins. Three, six, and one in the last ten games, boys. What the hell is going on? Now, Anchor, Anchor is moving up a little bit. He's starting to produce with 30, uh, 30 goals, uh, 30 points. So he's going, he's getting back up. But it's a little bit too late for you to do that, isn't it? Because right now we are sure to not make the playoffs. It's way too late for us at 40 at 40 games played, forget about it. Like, what's going on with our team, boys? What, What is the story here? So, Minus, he's not playing good. So, we're going to put him back where he's supposed to be playing, boys. We're not going to hurt him. We're not going to hurt him for no reason. All right. We're just going to put him where he's supposed to be. Uh, Bertuzzi is going to be hurt a little bit. But that's okay. We're going to st stick him to where he's, he's supposed to be. Uh, Menta did grow a little bit, boys. So that's a good thing. I just don't know what to do with these guys right here. I don't know. Who am I supposed to play here? They're doing fine on defense. Looks like Daily is really struggling, though. But can't do anything about Daily, boys. Burbovsky, he's not doing his job. He's still not doing his job. He's going up a little bit. Almost there. But he needs to be playing better than this. Come on, man. I'm getting tired of this bullshit, boys. I swear. They should be all playing better than this. And they're not. It's disappointing as hell. Let me... Um, theory is a death. Alright. There we go. Let me see. Uh, how many... For how much time is he injured? Like, chill whiskey. He's injured for a long time. God damn. Ronek, what about you? You're still a deaf defenseman. Still a deaf defenseman, boys. Can't do anything about that. Let me ch switch it up. There we go. Let's, uh... You know what? We're losing way too much. And I guess I need to switch that up. Tight point? No. I want to keep you as staggered. Umbrella? We're going to keep you on the umbrella, I guess. Um, and normal defensive we're gonna do high pressure you know what protect the net player collapse in the defensive zone we're gonna try to protect the net as much as possible because apparently we're bad we're losing games I don't know why we're gonna try to be a lot like defensive we're gonna try to be defensive so not to one two two red we're gonna be one three one boys not protect the nut, but you know what? Puck side attack. Puck side attack, 1-3-1. One, one. Um, I want you guys to be like this. Absolutely. And um, I guess that's going to be good enough for me. Let's try it out that way, boys. 1-3-1. One, one. Attack the net. Uh, let me scout this. Uh, assign the scouts again. It's uh, about that time of the year, boys. All right, so let's look at the team stats. Team stats and player stats. Player stats first, boys. I feel like player stats are more important than team stats. But let's look at it. 
it's 16 percent so Ecker right now is moving up big time he's playing way better than he was playing at the first uh the first time around so it's the it's rookie year i guess we can give him a chance or something he should be doing more points than goal uh, than games boys but i'm gonna give him a chance uh he's starting to move up a little bit to be better so 30 points in 40 games so far we've got panarin which i guess he's doing fine but yeah he's not a 90 overall so i can give him that he's a first liner so i'm gonna give him like the benefits of the doubt right here uh, eberly is doing fine as well uh, menta is doing all right but should be doing better most of these players should be doing better so menta and nilsson menta is fine minus two is as long as you don't see minus fives or six like this right here bertuzzi is not doing well at all boys and uh, bertuzzi and the kaiser uh, no, Abdul Kader. Both are not doing good at all. Uh, Glendening is not doing good. So the fourth line is really struggling big time. It's Vechnikov. It's not good for him. His first 10 games, only one point. A four, uh, minus four. It's not good at all, boys. I can't really do anything. Um, Bernie is doing fine. Uh, Brabovsky is not playing like he should be playing. They're basically playing the same. And that's not normal for the backup goaltender and uh, starting our elite goaltender to be playing the same is not it's not good enough boys it's not normal so let's see where we are do we move up or we move down we actually move down or we no i think we moved up we moved up because we are scoring a little bit more than we were but uh we're still the wor one of the worst team after montreal to uh, for games for scoring games and what about uh, goals against per game? We're actually we are really doing well. So we're doing well. We're not giving too many goals. We're just not scoring right now, boys. Just not scoring. What about uh, power play? Power play is still shit. And penalty kill is still shit. So both are still shit. I don't know what to do, boys. Uh... I, I can't change anything. I can't. At this point, I, there's nothing I can do. All I can hope for is that my strategies actually work for the team. And that um, they end up doing something. They end up winning or like something. I don't know, boys. I just hope that uh, it's going to end up being well for uh, going well for us eventually. So, 2, 4, 6, 8... And 10 so at the Colorado Avalanche game boys actually I might just end it right here so I'm gonna end it at the uh, at the the game of Minnesota Brian Flynn is back so we who's the theory is fine I want to play Kevin Mickey or whatever I don't know boys I do want to play uh, Brian Flynn though so I guess I'm gonna play Brian Flynn don't have a choice really let's just play him uh, playing back like that there we go we're good boys so let's start the simulation start the simulation we win our first game God, Satori is injured now all right Satori which is a prospect of ours uh, we win the first game against Montreal, so at least that's good. We're at least, I think, three games in a row now that we win. So that's really good. We're, you can see we're scoring like three goals per game now. We're starting to sc score three goals per game. We're scoring a little bit more. We're a little bit more defensive too. So we are already good in def defense uh, style. But um, I'm upgrading the defense a little bit. The way we play is going to be better in defense. At least I think, boys. I did my best at least to, to put it that way. So there we go. There's a winning streak right there that I want to see. This is... We need to get back on track, boys, in big time. And as quick as possible, too. Because we could not permit ourselves to do that. Uh, now, Saturday, what is he? Because I, I forgot what he was. He's a goaltender. Oh, actually, he's not a prospect. He was our, our main goaltender, I guess. 
he is getting back uh, he is getting um, up uh, quite a bit though Kate Pitt he went from 48 to 50 so he he's moving up big time boys that's that's good for us that's really good for us the prospect goaltender is growing up uh, there's another win right here that's really good for us that means that I did the good strategies right here there's our first loss in this uh, 10 games of simulation boys so, so far we've played pretty good. There's another loss right there. So two losses in a row, but it's a loss in shootout. So I can, I can get it, but a loss, losses in regulation. We can't get any of those, boys. This is not good. We cannot. No, just stop. We had like four wins in a row and you're getting back into four losses in a row. All right. Well, we're getting back where we were, boys. Back at the beginning. See, I can't. We can't be playing like this. We can't have a year like this to where, oh, all of a sudden we get back on track and just to get back where we were before, just because we get losing streaks like crazy. Like, look at this. How many games in a row did we win right there? We won four games in a row. No, five. Five games in a row we won. And afterwards we go on a five losing, uh, five game losing streak. That's a 50-50 50, uh, 50 thing. We can't go into that. We cannot have that. That's unbelievable. We did get two points out of these five losses, but it's, it's ridiculous. We should not be in this position at all, boys. This should not be a thing. It, it just uh, should not. So what we're going to do, this is not after 10 games. This is after actually nine games. So after nine games, we got like four wins and five losses. Four, um, four, three, and one, basically. Four, three, and one after five games, boys. Uh, after um, nine games. He's getting back on track. Uh, Ecker is basically 10 games behind the point. Uh, 10 points behind the, the games. Uh, we are struggling. We're not going to make the playoffs, boys. I'm telling you right now, we're just not making making the playoffs which is really bad for us really bad but we can't really do anything about that now we are going to go ahead and simulate we're going to look at our team the way they play or actually you know what yeah no you know what let's just do a quick simulation like this yeah after each video the uh we're going to go into the game only for the last game of the season basically so let's look at their game, the the way they play uh, uh, dur during a regular season. There we go. So this is what it looks like at, at each game, boys. Every game, basically, we're getting outshouted after after the first period. We got uh, we gained. We we had to defend against eighteen shots. We get we give we gave eighteen shots in one period, boys. Eighteen shots in one period. And of course, we gave a, a goal. It's unavoidable. We only shot like six times against 19 shots. I don't know what's going on. Why are we getting so many? Why are they, the team, the other teams, getting so many shots? What's going on here? There we go. Panarin. And uh, I think power play, probably in the power play, scored. Now, Brabovsky is doing absolutely well, but he can't do it. Oh, it's Bernie. It's actually Bernie. So, oh my God, we're getting back to, we're getting back on track, boys. Okay, I've, I've two two periods. I don't even know what's going on. We got thirty shots. We gave thirty two shots after two game two periods only. That's ridiculous. We got Panner and Eberle and Eberle two goals. Now it's the two backup goaltenders for each team which who, who are playing. My God, we're just lucky that Montoya is bad or that our first line is doing the deed, boys. Our first line is playing big time for us right now. I really don't know why we're... Like, what is this? Koivu scored again. We put, put his team back on track, boys. And well, I've got a feeling, yeah, we're going to lose this team. We're going to lose this game. We can't, like, win in a f like when they double the shots against us. Just not going to happen, boys. I... What is going on with the team? There's another loss in regulation, boys. Four to three. We we score three games. We give four goals. 
Uh, we, st uh, we scored three goals. We gave four goals. What is going on? Lovecraft, so ten games. Four, four, and two. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable, boys. We cannot be doing that. Absolutely cannot be doing that. It's it's awful. We're not playing good at all. Ecker had a great game. He got uh, maybe a three game. He got three points in that game. He actually got three points in that game, which is really good for him. Good for you, Ecker. But the rest of the team is playing awful. I don't know what's going on. 19, 23, and 8. Oh, boy. Had half of the season, boys. Uh, more than half of the season done. Don't know what to do anymore. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video. Keep it easy, boys.